which comes first, your heart or your mind? If you fill your mind with knowledge about God, will it create a fire in your heart to serve him, to, to love him, to chase after him? Not necessarily. But if you get a fire started in the innermost place of your being to chase after Jesus, to be in his presence, to abide in him, for him to be your refuge and your strength, that desire will lead you to being transformed by the renewing of your mind, as Romans 12, 2 says. That genuine, intimate, transforming relationship with Christ is a matter of your heart. It's a matter of the most inner, the innermost place of your being, the very core of your being, and that being set on Christ. That's what we're talking about. Setting your heart on a life or death mission to reach Jesus himself, to know him personally, to be found in him, to abide in him and have him abiding in you is to have a heart on fire to seek to commune with Jesus. Lord, where you're at, that's where I want to be. I don't want you to fix my stuff. I want you to be with me. I need you personally. I need you. It's a heart thing. I don't need to know about Jesus. I need to know him personally. The direction of your life is not set by your knowledge. The direction of your life is set by the motivation of your heart. Jesus did not ask his disciples, what do you know about me? What do you know? Jesus did not ask his disciples, what do you believe? What do you believe about me? He said, I need to know your heart. What do you want? What do you want? What do you desire? What is driving your life? That's what Jesus wanted to know, and that's what he wants to know about us today. Look, Proverbs 4.23, our key verse just nails it. Proverbs 4.23 says, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. So let me ask you, does knowledge determine the course of your life? Say no, please, because I'll start over. Knowledge does not set the course of your life. Your heart does. And what the motivation of your heart is and what's driving your heart, that's what sets your life. You are moving towards what you love. You are moving towards what you love. Not what you know, but what you love. 